yath ma konyo lo chan, miero okony gi ki yom chwi. Wek ma ma uti kere obet ma me ada. Kweru gin maraj wako. Mago matek gin mabe. Mare wono ikien wu ki ma pa omego. Ngara chela chel omi waro bat la ware. Peo bed ki wach kom e kom tich wu ma bedo. Ento bedo ma kom wu met wa ma wu utiyo. Ruot ki chunye du chu. Chunye wu obed yom pi gen ma u gano. Diyo chunye wu ichan. Mene wono keken wu ilega. Nok paru pa. Nok paru pa. Nok Evangeli maleng mamako choyo. Yesu uluo jone apa wiarione Chio chako orgi ki ario ario Mau minigi tue ikum sitan Uchiro gini ni Pego kwa ngin mo piwot gi Dokono udo keken Labo cham mo Labo kicham La bon limon et ton piègi. Ento, gourou gwa et tiengi. Ento, pegou wot, ki kanju aryo. Wadjou igini. Ka ou donyo yot mo, beru kenyo. Wang ma wa, ki ka beru meno. Kabiru mo mapek bijolo u wa bikwa ya winyo u ika ama wa wa kikuno uteng afwa ketienu wa open chaden boki joapa wiyari onego chiro 
go tell lot ni down to chuo mi algo mot e balgi gurie mo chetan ma pol go we lo tu ma pol ke mo chigo chao ki evangeli parwot wa yesu kristo Let Deacon Quinto, a lawyer, who is to be ordained, please, please come forward. Present. John Kimego Jominina Afoyo Mekero Mirpala Church I teach Omeo Latin and Botu Ni Unu Piro and 
Odok latin ma kwiri. Kun an abi yero en. Me ilo en me doko sa chedo. Tindo kelo en do. A foy opi teach ma be en oni. A leg gum botu. A foy. Kumbedi, Vika General, Ubi Penyo La Piscopi, Wea Kiwiyo Mienwa Uda Uda Sasedo. Kadong La Piscopi Ugamo, Chiwa Dhamo Kipare Nena Wajo. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church has you to ordain this man, Deacon Quinto Lawyer, our brother, for service as priest. Do you know him to be worthy? After inquiry among the people of Christ, and upon recommendation of those concerned with his training, I testify that he has been found worthy. Relying on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ, we choose Quinto, our brother, for the order of the priesthood. Wabiga muni wapfoyo ruba. Wapfoyo ruba. Kakain beno waramu gono kijira domba. Yen la piscope do ye me wiro en. Holy temple, that is your priority. Make sure your fellow brothers and sisters are brought together. So, you are now raised to this great order of priesthood. For your part, exercise this sacred duty of teaching in the name of Jesus Christ, the teacher. Impart to everyone, everyone, not any single person be left aside. The word of God. Today we have also the means, the radio, the television, the, you have this uh, modern social media. Don't, don't allow social media to be polluted 
with the, sometimes they provoke people to do wrong things. Don't allow them to do that. Rather, teach the correct way of living for society through this social media. Do this work with joy. You receive it with joy, do it also with joy. You will feel even the joy of being a priest. You foretested it in being a deacon when you were ordained a deacon. I think you, there was something special you felt. Today you will feel it more. And you will hear the young ones call you. Some men mix it up, call you. Deacon Paddy. They don't know Deacon Paddy, but they are long and long Paddy. In a kind. Lutino, Nini Nini. The Mahun Nini. They don't know any Deacon. In a or Dean any, any dog Paddy. Immediately you will see, you will attract them and they will want to see and stay with you. So as you do this work, meditate on the law of the Lord. See that you believe. I repeat here what you heard when you were deacon, being installed as a deacon. Believe what you read That you teach what you believe and you practice what you teach. This is a powerful message for you and for me from Jesus, echoed by the voice of the church leaders. So in this way, let what you teach be nourishment for the people of God. Let the holiness of your life be a delightful fragrance to Christ's faithful so that by word and example you may build up the house of God, the church. Likewise, you will exercise it in Christ, the office of sanctifying for by your ministry, the spiritual sacrifice of the faithful will be made perfect, being united to the sacrifice of Christ, which will be offered through your hands, for that your hands will be anointed. You will see it yourself with those words. Your hands anointed for sanctifying the people and for offering the sacrifice of Christ. Yet in this way, in union with the faithful, in the celebration of the sacraments, understand therefore what you do and imitate what you celebrate. As a celebration of the ministry of the, of what? Of the Lord's death and the resurrection. Strive to put to death whatever in your members is sinful. Whatever is sinful in your members. Members means you are. You are sheep. Tell them when things are not all right. You tell them, no, this is not correct. Don't go this direction. Stop it. What are these? For example, domestic violence. Talk to them. Stop the domestic violence. There is also a lot of land, land wrangle. People are, they are fighting and even killing each other over land. Tell them. Land wrangle is not correct. It's a wrong way of using the land. 
God gave this land for all of you. If they are to be apportioned and have it by the right of the laws and so on, let it be done friendly, brotherly, sisterly, not as enemies. We hear about wrestling, cast on wrestling. Our brothers and sisters across the other side where the sun rises. Last Saturday when I was at, uh, at Kirku, I told, I said, hey, you people, our brothers and sisters on this side, from the place of rising of the sun, please, let us remain brothers and sisters. Don't cause pain to your fellow brothers and sisters on this side on account of cows. And I even told in front of the bishop, I said, the cows on this side and the cows on the other side, let us trade using them. We trade. We can sell them to each other. If not, we can also use them for marriage. When those from this side pay cows the other side, and those from this side are marrying from this side, you pay cows this side, but don't rob any cow of anybody from whichever side it is. <coughs> and remain in peace, 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 peace. We should not fear each other. Rather, we should be friendly and relatives. After all, there are uncles this side. There are also uncles the other side. There are nephews this side. There are also nephews that side. There are in-laws this side. There are also in-laws that side. Then why do you fight? Why do you rob each other of the cows? Who has more right to cows than who? I thought I should say this in a very clear terms. So, the priest can play a role also in this. Last Saturday I talked with my brother, Bishop Across. We talked it over also among ourselves, that we need to do something more. We need to do something more. And I think we can also join hands with all the leaders, whether cultural, political, religious, even including the role of the parents, the in-laws from this side can also talk with the in-laws across the road or across the borders. So that these borders, according to my way of thinking, should not be there. It should be free movement so that trade and all other good acts can be promoted, but not of division and quarrel and killing and suffering. No. On my side, I say no. If you say yes, I don't know which one God will accept. So, there you are. Then unite the people in your parish. Join hands with your parish priest. You unite your people. The other Saturday, I raised those who were to be ordained priests. I would like us to raise you up. You stand up. You start turning from your right. Look, starting with us here who are here. You turn this way slowly, looking 
and the people start. Just look at the people. You move. You turn. You turn. Go ahead. <coughs> yes. These are the people Jesus is calling you to unite. There are others who did not come. He says, these are all my people. Even those in the village, wherever they are, unite them together. Let them feel as brothers and sisters, not as enemies. A very heavy duty. Don't, don't, don't say like Jeremiah was saying, ah, but I'm just a, a new priest or then today, how can I do this? He says, don't be afraid. I am with you. I will work through you. Trust in his words. You can do it. If a child at home can do something towards his parents, for example, either a boy or a girl, I don't know, can say to dad, when dad is beating the mother, he says, dad, don't beat mommy. And when the dad hears this word, the dad will lower the intensity of beating the mother of this child. University. Your potential is very powerful. You have a very, very solid ground. You can stand to defend the right thing. The law of God, even the law of the nation, you also have to defend. Now they have made a law against homosexuality. That is also an area where you can stand also to defend. And that is a way to unite people under the law of God. Because God says, I have created you male and female. Because I want the world to be filled with human beings. Posterity must be there. If they take the root of homosexuality, there will be no posterity. They will just lead the nation, lead humanity to extinction. I'm using very funny words. That's how Gomorrah and Samara were finished. Gomorrah and Sodoma. They were burned. Actually, if we follow the language, they were using symbolic language. But the truth was, this way of living leads to extinction. Somebody was joking. I don't know if it was true. I overheard. I don't know, it was a, maybe the Washini look like a bee. Nan mono Washini, Ladit mono Washini. One, homosexuals, Amiu Otcha, Wun Kong, Wun Weng Uchir Kunu, Amiu. Do a bong men. Kano ana duogo abi no lotino dong upongi otchani. 
But he came after he didn't get anything new except these ones with some damages on themselves. Anyway, I was just guiding you and us. So, forgive sins. Bring the sacrament of penance. Comfort the sick with oil, anointing them. And when you offer prayer of praise and thanks to God, throughout the hours of the day, not only for the people of God, but for the whole world. Pray for the whole world. Remember that you are taken from among men and appointed on their behalf for those things that pertain to God. Therefore, carry out the ministry of Christ, the priest, the teacher, and the shepherd. With constant joy and genuine love, I want to stress this point, joy and love. Attending not to your own concerns, but to those of Jesus Christ. Finally, my son, exercise in your part the office of Christ, head and shepherd, well united with the bishop. Be united with the bishop, not by yourself. And obedient to him, you are going to also make that obedience. The vow of obedience. It is not to the bishop really as such. You are following that call you were given right in the beginning where God asked you to become a priest. You said yes. And you went to the seminary and trained until today. You are following that voice. Now God will tell you I'm sending you to the people in that parish or in that area. Go. Like he sent the other 12, two by two to all the homes and in the, in the area of that. So he is going to send you. So the bishop the bishop has no territory of his own except the territory of Jesus Christ. He is the one asked to take care of that, the people of that territory. So you join. We do it together with you. And that is the context of your what do you call it? Your obedience. All these people here, people of God here gathered they wish you success in your priestly life. They will pray for you. They will also somebody advise you. Those who have sometimes people like the family members, the priests, what do you call it? The, the parents. <laughs> I can share this with you and with all the other people. When I was just about, I think, two years as an archbishop here in Gulu, my father decided to come and visit me. Abrupt program. As he came, I was in Kitgo. But luckily I came back that afternoon when he arrived. And then, the sister who was in charge of the community there came and told me, he said, Muse has come around. I said, who is this Muse now? He said, you are dead. I said, eh, hey, there must be a serious matter. All right. I refreshed a bit, then I went and met him. I said, dad, first of all, I greet you, <laughs> welcome. Is there any issue very serious for which you have come? He told me, he said, you boy, imagine eh? the whole archbishop, he called him 
boy. <laughs> and that was the word he was always using for me. Whether I became a priest, or I became a bishop, or I became an archbishop, he always called me boy. I said, okay, thank you, you are, the ma you are my dad, so I accept I am a boy to you. <laughs> All right. Then he said, I came to check whether you are doing what you promised at home that you were coming here to do. I wanted to find out. I said, now my father has become my prefect. <laughs> my supervisor don't. I said, hey. Anyway, I thanked him. I said, yes, thank you for coming to remind me. The consoling thing he said to me was this. He said, you, I've been happy. When I came here, I did not find you at home here. You were with the people distributing communion for them there. Now you have just come back. Thank you very much. Tomorrow I'm going back. I a teacher. I don't a teacher. I don't know how to teach. I don't know how to teach. I don't know how to teach. I Chipedo o mi amo gija. Tengo ahí en ello ni tuan tuan mugija madite y chinga don. O wacha ni gola y huya ma fori pe achiro. Aya wacha okay. Kafu o cuadro en la church o gola y huy o coño y ni doctor. So parents have a role. El luñoro na nena loco lema que huila huila que when you take it teach, men look call or tino. When you go work or gang, be lock. My parents take. My go dare ye, be lock, be dano parupa. You take it, care, men look call ye. We have iru, we have wangu. We never no kita magi take a tiukere. We winch men lock my take a time. Kal, to wenye mabe, chorbotki, machini, latin, ngo matika, dime, atika wenye lo kumani, kumani, kumi, eni lo kadani, eh, wachakum. I want you eni pingo, Kristo, miru lotino u, guber kitema eno berkene. Wumpene u pino, tin, Kita mal waneno ka ikelo latini me weko dong en ichin lapiscopi wek owiro en me doko sachedo matual en peyot tie teach ma pire teka dada so a watch botu unup kowa ulu nyodo wani ukonywa kitam me po wiwa ikum Chike, ma wano wa chike, inyem uba kumbene inyem lua kuparupa. Kumbedi dong, abi penyo father to be. I'm now going to ask you certain questions which are very important to express your intentions. May you stand up. My dear son, before you enter the order of the priesthood, you must declare before the people your intention to undertake this office. Do you resolve, with the help of the Holy Spirit, to discharge without fail the in the presbyteral rank as a worthy fellow worker with the order of bishops in caring for the Lord's flock? I do. Do you resolve to exercise the ministry of the word worthily and wisely, preaching the gospel and teaching the Catholic faith? I do. 
do you resolve to celebrate faithfully and reverently in accord with the church tradition, the mysteries of Christ, especially the sacrifice of the Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation for the glory of God and sanctification of the Christian people? I do. Do you resolve to implore with us God's mercy upon the people entrusted to your care for observing the command to pray without ceasing? I do. Do you resolve to be united more closely every day to Christ, the high priest, who offered himself for us to the Father as a, a pure sacrifice and with him to consecrate yourself to God for the salvation of all? I do with the help of God. Okay, now you come and make the promise of obedience. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Omegina, kill Omegina. Teach. Ma Yesu Christ take all Latin wa en idoge Petime kitwer pa dano keken Time kitwer pa la church Chido wabi kwayo lo leng me konywa me chwakwa we gu konywa me kwayo la church me chwalo Tipu malei, kitu erone duchu, mekonyo, le tichu nyen, en ki wan duchu. We shall now go for the litany.
Beseech you, Lord our God, and pour out on this servant of yours the blessing of the Holy Spirit and the power of priestly grace. That this man whom in the light, in the sight of your mercy, we offer to be consecrated, may he be surrounded by your rich and unfailing gifts through Christ. Our Lord. Amen. 
Draw near, O Lord, Holy Father, 
Almighty and eternal God, author of human dignity, it is you who apportion all graces. Through you, everything progresses. Through you, all things are made to stand firm. To form a priestly people, you appointed ministers. Draw near, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, author of human dignity. It is you who apportion all graces. Through you, everything progresses. Through you, all things are made to stand firm. To form a priestly people, you appointed ministers of Christ, your Son, by the power of the Holy Spirit, arranging them in different orders. Already in the early covenant, offices arose established through mystical rites when you set Moses and Aaron over your people to govern and sanctify them. You chose men next in rank and dignity to accompany them and assist them in their task. So too, in the desert, you implanted the spirit of Moses in the hearts of 70 wise men. And with their help you ruled. He ruled your people with greater ease. So also upon the sons of Aaron, you poured an abundant share of their father's plenty, that the number of the priests pres pres prescribed by the law might be sufficient for the sacrifices of the tabernacle, which were a shadow of the good things to come. But in these last days, Holy Father, you send your Son into the world, Jesus, who is apostle and the high priest of our confession. Through the Holy Spirit, he offered himself to you as a spotless victim, and he made his apostles consecrated in the truth, share us in his mission. You provided them also with their com uh, companions to proclaim and carry out the work of salvation throughout the whole world. And now we beseech you, Lord, in our weakness to grant us this helper that we need to exercise the priesthood that comes from the apostles. Grant we pray, Almighty Father, to this your servant the dignity of the priesthood. Renew deep within him the spirit of holiness. May he henceforth possess this office which comes from you, O God, and is next in rank to the office of bishop. And by the example of his manner of life, May he instill right conduct. May he be a worthy co-worker with our order, so that by his preaching and through the grace of the Holy Spirit, the words of the gospel may bear fruit in human hearts and reach even to the ends of the earth. Together with us, may he be a faithful steward of your mysteries, so that your people may be renewed in the waters of rebirth and nourished from your altar so that sinners may be reconciled and the sick raised up. May he be joined with us, Lord, in imploring your mercy for the people entrusted to his care and for all the world. And so may the full number of the nations gathered together in Christ be transformed into your one people and made perfect in your kingdom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. With this prayer of ordination, this deacon now has become a full priest. He is now full priest. Deacon 
quinto competidor de la sesedo, la la rukeo, don la sesedo, cure de mañana, me pato a parish, me enve parish mañana, o picoño, fada quinto, me la copa, o a copa, chalo pa, no sesedo, magitie, we altar, can, o lego, sidan, o don Michael, me coño wa, o pero que yo, twin, kind of round, o no me la coge, que ya no viene, o pa, o mini, o a la cuad. Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, God, and preserve you. That you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God. Thank you. 
receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God, understand what you do, imitate what you celebrate, and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross. Kumbedi, abi jolo dong pade manye, ni ubeno, i achidasis me gulu. Inge mot pa biso blu sasedo, ge joli kin ge umin wa kwinto, o lubu lain mani nen wa lubu ikar, ma ge tika kia tu chien wye. Luwe pe balo ka uwe. Oh, you know, let's go. 
Just, Lord Justice, Windolo, who is here, and all the dignitaries in your various positions. Lord, Pelo Cristo, Kilo Cristayo, Caribene, Kenwa, Nuwerewa, Chilam, Ateki Yongchin. Menyu tubotu, pati manyen. Chaki, parema, iwiro, kompedini. Nye, kwinto, oloya. Kwinto, oloya. Waiki parish eni. Nye, patong. You just go in front, let them see you closer. And then. Next, dear Michael Odon. Zidane from Lukome Parish. Ami e kabedo katich yeni atika ne kabedo ko ami oluak pajo patong. And be too a kino can. Aya, any name, dear Joel Ocott. Why keep parish me holy rosary? See, a child and but Joe make it go mission. Any dear Raymond Ocott, Ike Gulu Cathedral, J. Achalo N. Bodjome Anaka, Any dear David Walter Ochora, Ike Parish Meomia Nima. A child and but Jomea watch. Any 
dear Stephen Upoga, Waki Parish, make Christ the King a Kidgum town. And to Achalo and Body Jome Omiya Nyima. Any dear Boniface Ochola, O Aiki Padibe Parish, T. Anna Chalo N. Burjome Ata. Any don't tear Father Paul Ronald Boya, O Aiki Lacho Parish. T. Abichalo and Burjome Christ the King Town. Kirkum, sorry. I think you are going to Kirkum. Yes. You are going to Christ the King Town people. You are going to the people of the town, Christ the King. Quinto. Quinto don't be kind. Quinto, I'm here in your body. Ne ordin my name, certificate net here. Walk my bear. May I real celebrate? You want to celebrate? It will work to any certificate. But it's more than a certificate. Pingo, Kamo kekeni will lobo. Ibi chiro ye. Mary new teni te. Padi. Pakatoli. Ibi penyo waraga eno ni bori. Bishop Karachan. Ibi penyo waraga eno ni bori. Kunbe ne Karachachok. Abere is Lisbon. Gipenya. Ni eh celebrate making it take way. Oh yeah. Could I take a meal celebrate and don't go pay ni celebrate making a meal on board with Nini and don't won celebrate the end. Go at ya carry carry chili. So Pien, Kapu Nur Ginani, baby Lego Micha Kamo. Does you will not say mass anywhere without this one. Aya, eh, he does his mamewa certificate bene, but when a ticket identity card, tie, make galo wang police mamewa kind. And aya, a chalo indo, but jome pora. Teach any better team, la bon la bon con you pala church. I mean, when you win one pala church, jui jui Bible any kiro jari quite bene, mean one, Vicra Maria, more better, mean papa, the man, chill and Christoni, mere bene, better. Mean my make command, but one no chuckle and key legger, or con you and key legger, where could you teach it? Kit my mirror up for you, my tech. So, congratulations once again. You can now go ahead. So, I wish you all the newly ordained priests in this archdiocese. These are the people. Here, here, here. You see them. They are the ones for whom you have offered yourself. So be loyal to the Lord to serve them in, with the love. <laughs> Thank you. God bless. Chairman, you've got to. Any. 
nye diko ni mane lo kelo mu aki ipura eh karcha pa mio eh certificate na make it lo kan to certificate chot me ari one tie diko pita o jar eh from Mary Immaculate Lutz Parish Kidgo Mission. Certificate me on here. Eh, me a date Deacon Geoffrey Rajkara from Blessed Daudo Kelo Jilde Rua Parish for the town parish. Aya. Me a when tie Deacon Felix Opio Udwo, also from the Mary Margaret Lutz Parish Kidgo Mission. Ah, uh, Elini, dear Deacon Derek Okidi, my IK Mary Help of Christians Parish Bajule. May I give him? Dear Deacon George Olara, um, Ike Holy Cross Paris, Omiya Nima. Our next begin with our maga chair, give me double chain, Katiago Kwangi, we go to our mape, maga mabino ni, mabi, wiruki, mendo kupadi, chiu mene kilega. They want to call it. So John Kaku Dogo, Dick Gine Paddy, Jamalu Kogi B. Dogo, Dickens, a picture. Chicky, Quan America, Meno, and Tow Pengene Pengene Uchomo Chingiba, where who were at tea, put their quoggy pewoon, then a piano. Kako dog padi ki dogo bene pa pian. Mi ho pato era wira kekena. Ki wiro an gin e. Ki fo Jesu Cristo. Wa o i cha ma wa ti ero.
God, who have willed that your priests should minister the holy altar and serve your people. Grant by the power of this sacrifice, we pray that the labors of your servants may be constantly pleasing to you, and in your church bear that fruit which lasts forever. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the new and eternal covenant. And by your wondrous design, we are pleased to decree that his one priesthood should continue in the church. For Christ not only adorns with the royal priesthood, the people he has made his own. But with a brother's kindness, he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry through the laying on of hands. They are to renew in his name the sacrifice of human redemption, to set before your children the Paschal banquet, to nourish them with the word and strengthen them with the sacraments. As they give up their lives for you, they strive to conform to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too, give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim.
indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. When you to a Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John Baptist, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. A mass on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <laughs> 